And now, ladies and gentlemen, here from Pasadena, Texas, we are set for our first attraction of the evening. Four rounds of the super lightweight division. Introducing to you first, Bonnie got a Fort Worth, Texas, by way of Illinois. Here is Orlando, the TNT Collins. All right. This hey. is that moment I was talking about. You're going to start the night. I always hated being the opening night, only because, I mean, it's also a good and a bad thing. You set the tone, you're the one that everybody's gonna kind of remember, like, oh, you remember that first fight of the night? Right. And it's kind of up to you how you set it for the rest of the night, how it might be, or you could be that one fight that everybody might remember out of the whole card. Exactly, and exactly. So being the first fight, I'm always excited because you set the tone, you go in there and you see what kind of night tonight's going to be. I can only imagine what's going through these fighters' head. They have worked very hard for this night. And now here's the opponent. And it's here. Yep. The party pride of Baytown, Texas. Here is Flavian, the technician. Hello. It is Cinco de Mayo. We here. Welcome to Pay Per View. We got some exciting fights coming out tonight. We're starting our first fight now. We're here at the Pasadena Conventional Center. Fight TV, Clear Life Media, bringing you the action tonight on Cinco de Mayo. I want to thank the pay per viewers and everybody that's here. Thank you for coming out, watching. Like I said, if you got friends, let your friends know. Tell them to hop on a laptop, get on their phone, any kind of social media platform that they got, any kind of viewing TV that they you know, got. Ladies and gentlemen, hop on the paper view. So very clear many life media. A mile to you. Fight TV, we are coming to you live view. on Fight Order TV fight. from Pasadena Convention Center. Tonight, Boxing with Termite, in association with Jeff Barnett, brings you the opening attraction of the evening. Four rounds of the super lightweight division. Sponsored to you by Texas Flange and Pearland Coffee Roasters. Your three judges scoring this contest at ringside are Randy Russell, Michelle Morales, and Edmer Guzman. And a referee in charge of the action, Alex Leon. Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with Kendrick Relaford and Sheldon Parker. Wearing black with yellow trunks, he officially weighed at 142.2 pounds. Tonight, he steps into this contest, making his seventh professional appearance. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, by way of Illinois. Here is Orlando, the TNT Collins. <laughs> and his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Juan Lopez. Tonight, wearing the maroon trunks, he officially weighed in 140.6 pounds. Tonight, he starts his professional career in the sweet science. Focused and ready here to make his debut. Introducing to you, the fighting bride of Baytown, Texas. Here is Fabian, the technician. Hello! I'd like to see Fabian open up with a lot more jabs. Him being a taller fighter. Mm -hmm. Like the first round, do you find yourself more so trying to feel your opponent out, or do you just stick to your game plan and do what you do? I stick to my game plan and establish the pace and establish how I want my fight to go. Exactly, exactly. So, you know, I think... Fabian should let his hands go a little bit more. He's only got four rounds to work with. Mm -hmm. It's kind of still at a high pace fight. Right. Yeah, you got to be a little bit calmer, 
find your shots. But you only got four rounds to work with, so you got to open up a little bit more and put your punches together. Yeah, I just seen him throw a right cross right there, so maybe he's getting more in the groove. It is his debut fight. You did talk about that, how yep. sometimes on a debut fight you may find yourself with the butterflies and get a little nervous and take you a little while to warm up and start opening up those hands. Sometimes, sometimes it even takes maybe getting popped in the face with something, maybe even just as simple as a jab that will make me shake off all those butterflies, and then you'll realize, oh, hey, I'm in a fight. Both guys are throwing plenty of jabs, mixing it up to the head, to the body. Fabian's I do crowding like the, his shots a yeah, little bit too but much. But I, I do like the fact that Fabian is standing up. Yeah, you know, he's not he's leaning in. Engage. Yeah. Both fighters look like they're in great shape as well. Mm -hmm. It looks like this is a very good matchup. Yes. Good. Oh, nice, That's nice, good nice right by hand. Fabian. And he's trying to come back with his own punches. Mm -hmm. And see, when he puts his punches together, mm -hmm. he'll probably find the openings. Right. Oh, that was nice. Nice combination by Fabian. Yep. He needs to keep finding his range, letting them hands go. I'd like to see yeah. a little bit more jabs and body shot. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? I, 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 I think you're right. This is a great distance for Fabian. He's been getting his shots off a lot more. They're a lot more cleaner from this distance. And I think Orlando's going to have to get a little closer to yes. him in order to get his, his, his fights off, his hits off. I was just about to say Orlando would need to close the distance, mm -hmm. throw a little bit more jabs, and be able to find, touch the body more. You yeah. Know? Maybe move his, get Fabian to move his hands up and down. Throw a couple more body shots. But overall, both a good round from both guys. Yes. Both throwing jabs. It's going to be Still, hard to try yeah. to judge this one. It's going to be a hard round, round to judge. But if Fabian throws more shots and put, keeps putting them together, he'll yeah. be able to. We're going to be switching over to commercial. World Gym in Texas City is your new gym. Group classes, personal training, an indoor basketball court, outdoor workout area, and so much more. Something for everybody to do. You can do it all right here at Texas City. World Gym. At 100,000 square feet, there is nothing quite like the largest World Gym on the planet. World Gym, Texas City. Welcome back to Pay Per View with Fight TV through Clear Life Media. We're here tonight at the Pasadena Conventional Center. We're starting round two. We already seen some action in round one. A couple punches landing before from both guys. I'd like to see Orlando throw a couple more body shots. Fabian working that jab more, finding that long distance, catching him with a straight right hand at that, right behind a long jab. You have to have a lot of respect for fighters. I don't think people really understand how hard you guys really train. Mm. <laughs> no. Constant <laughs> hours in the gym. It's not just overnight. 45 minutes of a kickboxing class, and I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> now Orlando's throwing to the body. Yeah. We need to throw more. He's trying to look oh, for good, too many good, bodies. good body good shot there. From both guys. Yes. I think you're definitely right when you say Orlando needs to close the distance yes. in order for his shots to be more crisp and more clear. He doesn't really need to be stepping back. He, if anything, he needs to be stepping forward. I think Fabian is trying to wait too much on a on the perfect shot. When exactly. Right now, he just needs to be letting his punches go. Yes, go to the body. Get him to drop his hands yes. and then go upstairs. Like you said, he got four rounds to get this done. You don't want to waste time. No. And you want to make it a very clear-cut victory. Exactly. No questions asked. A lot of dancing. Mm -hmm. 
good nice. right hand. But Fabian needs to follow it up. Yes. Fabian needs to follow it up or mix it up. Yeah, because that was a nice, clean shot. It would have been nice to see a follow-up behind yeah. it. Orlando yeah, just came Orlando. back with some body shots. And now he's putting the pressure. Now he's going forward, which is what he should have been doing from round one. Find his distance. There you go. Yes, that was another nice body shot. Wow. Good nice. Right hand. Land a flush. Fabian definitely should be using his height to his advantage. Yep. He's doing a lot of slipping, but he's not deciding to counter back or at least throw something back to be able to get Orlando off of him or to get him to stop throwing some punches. Then he could go back to his rhythm. Fabian kind of let off the gas pedal from the round, first round and is trying to look too much for, I feel like, the, for the right shot. He just needs to let his hands go. Yeah. Orlando. Orlando seems like right he's finding thing. his groove, yeah. you know. Yep. He's, he's, he's to... coming forward. Yeah. I think he's, at this point, taking control of the fight. We're already headed into round three. We're going to pass the mic over to Grizzly. What you doing over there, Grizzly? Uh, right now, we're going to inter 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 interview this guy that was just singing the national anthem. Uh, <laughs> so we, nice. we live on pay-per-view uh, TV. Uh, let him know who you are. My name is Hayden Baker. How y'all doing? Okay, Hayden Baker from where? Katy, Texas. Okay, I heard you got signed uh, to like a famous um, um, uh, country singer. Brooks and uh, Dunn. Yeah, so, and so last Dunn. May I signed a publishing deal with Ronnie Dunn from Brooks and Dunn for a year, and we've been writing songs for the past year, and now we're getting ready to go record them and put some music out. Okay, so how long would you say you've been a songwriter? Uh, about four years. About uh, four years? Yeah. So you like really, so since them four years, what's the passion of Hayden Baker? Man, it's um, I love starting to tell a story and, uh, you know, just getting to share my story through music with others. It's an absolute blessing. Okay. We got to get back to the fight. Y'all check check him out. Uh, say your name again. Hayden Baker. H-A-Y-D-E-N-B-A-K-E-R. All right. Thank you. Going into the third round here. Orlando's now putting the pressure, trying to bring the fight to Fabian. Yes, I see that he's and moving forward. Now he's coming a little bit more forward than and he he's did making Fabian right move back now. Yep. Fabian just needs to let his hands go. Yeah, a little bit more than just one or two punches. Fabian, being the taller man, I definitely think he should be using his height to his advantage. Yeah. You don't need to bend down to him. He needs to come to you. Yep. And keep throwing that jab out there so you can keep him away from you. More than just one or two. Pop three out there. Yes. Let's see some combinations to that body. Because if you let Orlando to keep throwing these shots, it just makes it look like he's a little bit more busier. So there we go. Fabian's now firing back. He threw a couple combinations. That was nice. Like you said, I think he'll just be better off if... Not just one shot, but following up with some combinations. Yes. Go to that body. Make Orlando pay every time he put, comes up towards you and pushing you back. You need to make him pay for that. And even though Fabian is throwing more shots, Orlando still continues to come forward. Come forward, put the pressure, make it uncomfortable. That's a, and that's smart of Orlando. That is actually very smart for a fight like this. Make it uncomfortable. This is Fabian's debut fight, so he might as well go all out. Yes. You're round three. Round four is right around the corner. Wow, nice, nice body, body shot, shot by Orlando. He needs to keep throwing it. Yes. I don't think Fabian liked that one. I don't think he liked that one either. Yeah, that or it woke him up. <laughs> like you said, sometimes that's what it takes. Yes. But Orlando's landing some nice punches right now. That was a nice ride by Fabian. Yep. But once again, Orlando continues still to come, come forward. forward. Still wow, come forward. nice, nice by he Fabian. He's touching him to that solar plex. Every time he lands a punch, Orlando's coming straight back with something. And like you said, you can't just do one punch. Nope. You know, you got to follow it up. Got to follow it up. 
That was a nice little right uppercut by Fabian. But once, like you said, Orlando does come right back with yep. something to follow up his punch. Good little exchange. Nice exchange at the end. Both fighters are fighting very hard out there. Yep. This is their fourth and final round. How do you see this match going, Jesse? It's a little, I don't know. In, in my personal opinion, I feel like it's a little close. Mm -hmm. um, Fabian started off real strong, and I think he should have kept it at that and with a couple more punches behind it. He's letting Orlando being able to land those small shots. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the judges are looking at. Yeah, you know, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> I'm not saying that he's losing or anything like that. No, but he could do more to make it to secure that win. Secure the win. That's yes. right. I personally think I think Orlando's shots have been a little bit more, more hard, more more crisp. But you know, I think that for um, Fabian, this is his day, his debut fight. I think he's done a good he's job tonight. So yeah, good no, he looks good. At, he just needs to let him hands go more. Yeah. This, especially this round. Because you never know. Yeah. You never know. This is boxing. Yeah, this Anything is boxing. can happen. So you need to let the hands go. I think he should be putting some more punches. See, right there in those moments, he should be throwing a couple more jabs. Especially this being the fourth and final fourth round. Fourth and final round. Try to find an opening. Oh, that was there nice. There you go. Good right hand. Follow it up. Nice body shot yeah. by Orlando. Those small shots that Orlando keeps coming back, and even if they're maybe not significant punches landing, but those are punches they landing. Count. Those they are, count. They count. We got live action here tonight at Pasadena Conventional Center, Fight TV. Clear Life Media, hey, they are bringing the action tonight. Yep. Good shots have been landing. Fabian's trying to box, trying to pick him apart. But you don't have four more rounds to do this. Right. You don't have two more rounds, eight more rounds. Regardless how many rounds, this is the last one. You got to make it you gotta count. Got to open up a little bit. Got to yeah. let the hands go a little bit more. Put them in different places. Touch the jab to the body. Small wow, shots nice, like that. nice. That's a good left hook. Nice jab by Fabian. Orlando follows it right back with his own jab. Yes. I like the way that Orlando is also going to the body. Yes. He's trying to find different openings to or to create different openings. Mm-hmm. Fourth, final round, got to let those hands go, mm -hmm. especially if you want to win the fight and it's your yep. first fight. Yep. And if Orlando wants to secure a win, he's, he's got to let his hands go a little bit more. I like the pressure, but I think a little bit more punches with the pressure would definitely help him try to secure this round. Exactly. This is a very close round. Both men have both been throwing, you know, jabs, going to the body a little bit. So it's a very close round. This has been a very close fight. Orlando's throwing shots, those small shots. Nice. Yep. Ten seconds left. Ten seconds of the last round. All right, Fabian, there you go. Let your arms there you go. go. Make Not it count. Guys. Great fight. Finish. Great action. Great action. Very close fight. I don't know how this fight is going to go. Me either. <laughs> but like I said, they set the tone for the rest of the night. Good little exchange at the end. I think if Fabian would have probably done that a little bit more earlier, mm -hmm. Would have been a different outcome. Who knows? Yes, yes. Or because both guys were landing punches. Yeah. 
good comp competitive fight. I like it. I think it was a great matchup as well. What do you think, Grizzly? My my honest opinion, it was a real good fight. It definitely was a real good fight. Uh, the guy Fabian, to me, is the winner because he was moving his feet. And everything you were saying, Jesse, I was agreeing when you just couldn't hear me, like when you were saying more pressure, like, you know, work off the jab. Like, so, yeah, I, I will honestly say yeah, I'm going to give it to Fabian. I'll give it to Fabian. Well, we shall see. You never know what the judges see. They're up close to the ring. They see things sometimes that we don't. But it was um, a lot of action in there. I think I think both fighters did a great job. And what I do like about the other guy, Orlando, he didn't stop coming. Like no yeah. matter what happened, he kept coming. So that that showed warrior spirit right there. So that this was this actually was a a great uh, opening fight. A yeah, great I think so fight. as well. It was a good matchup too. And I then, like the fact both too. of them. Both of them should be proud of themselves and tap themselves on the back that they did that for their first time ever being on pay per view. So exactly, you, they, people could go back and ask me like, "Yo, I watched that again." Before we go to the judges' scorecards, let's give both of these warriors a big round of applause. All three judges score this contest 39 to 37 to the winner by unanimous decision. And with his first victory as a professional, the fighting wide of Baytown, Texas, Fabian, a technician. He ran, he won um, anonymously as well, 39 to 37. Great fight, uh, bringing in the action here at Pasadena Conventional Center, Fight TV with Clear Life Media. Jesse, I think we're gonna have more exciting fights coming. I think so too. Hi, I'm Anna with Legacy Collision. We are a female-owned collision repair facility. Treat everybody like family. We can fix almost anything, and today we are going to fix this bumper up right. 7887 FM 2004, Hitchcock, Texas, just south of the Blimp Base. Come on down and see us anytime. If you have any questions, give us a call, 409-440-8900, and let's get to fixing this bumper. Riondo's is located in the heart of historic downtown Galveston, offering fresh, authentic Italian food with recipes that have been passed down from generation to generation. Locally sourced ingredients and a friendly atmosphere turn visitors into regulars and regulars into family. Visit and learn more about Riondo's at riondo's.com. 